another edition of the do live yes we are live on facebook today and today is a ladies edition and you guys will be inspired by the end of this one hour simply because i have two fantastic ladies in the studio eve orala is uh, here she is a bodybuilding champion thank you and of course uh <laughs> The champion herself, our captain, the captain of our ladies volleyball team, uh, Mercy Lane, Malkia Strikers. Mercy, how are you doing? I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. Mercy, you are such an inspiration. But before we get into your career and your achievements, how is this COVID time treating you? Because it means everything has stopped. What you do has stopped. Volleyball has stopped. I think it's something... I've never had in my life. Mm -hmm. It's my first time. It's everybody's first time. Yeah. And then Kuligana na nini chakare volleyball. Yeah. Ningu was most of the time kana tu koko field. Nukusa balls. Volleyball team ball. So so easy una fanya peke ya ko au tra chief ile da kana fanya na teammates. Ningu was mostly ukimbia. Mm -hmm. Maybe kufanya fitness apo inje. Naimeisha. Yes, it's true. Um, uh, what I say is every situation where it presents itself, what you do is do the best you can do, eat and everything. But it's better than sleeping in and not doing anything because there are athletes who are homes and they are working out. And when you go to present yourself to the world, on, on our hands and knees, and if you tell me what all these rubber bands are for, because I see hands and I think they are for... For, for working out and mercy i've seen you using these rubber bands as well but before we get into uh, the, the health part of it i want you to tell people who've never heard of mercy Mayim, who is mercy Mayim, why did mercy Mayim get into volleyball and tell us a bit about your career and feel free to boast <laughs> trust me if i were you i would boast so feel free to boast and you can simply use kiswahili whatever you're comfortable with Although so he passes me like this sometimes, but <laughs> I get what you're saying, yeah. Uh Masi Moim uh the Chesaju Volleyball, uh Captain Matthew Strikers, uh Nam Chesaju Kenya Coppel Bank, uh Toka Kenya Prison, go on on I on any you are mean come chesaju Kenya Prison, but say easy mean Kenya Commercial Bank. Uh Masi Moim and Chesa at your primary school, your primary school in Mount Elgon, uh, in Kaboyo village, and the answer to the Nikiwa class five. And I mean, finally, catches a volleyball, it's my cousin, my late cousin, Mr. Kilo, uh, and co teacher or Shule, then a Yona. Wim Totakona, talent, brave, who are you? Brave, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are Then I was not that volleyball fan. I was a goalkeeper. And then I can change the catches. The catches are volleyball. Actually, I see you doing a lot of perpetual IG handling. You're not bad at perpetual. So, the Azia Kaboyo Primary School, the catches are primary Kamaliza. Time you're going to join for more. The catches are primary Kamaliza. 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 Ni kama ni sasa shule tu zero zero two, aveni o December kuna my friend alikuwa na somba Saint Philip's mukomari kamega shule place ile kado go but akuna chesa jeli alikuwa na chesa uko my friend akamali sasa phone kwa kambi teacher kuna player Mount Elgon brave Mount Elgon mzima wakaju tu mtumaji ni brave sima sima upeke ake so wakujua kwa nchu kwa nchu kwa yendo kwa kido kwa nika train they can go home. Go home. Lugulu akakuja. They let me say fumbi. Akakam. Aka. Aka ni chukua. Aka lugulu for like a month. We can train my junior. Yeah, two zero zero three. Your time two zero zero two. We can train junior team here. We have won championship in Poland. So I can chukua December. We can train kidogo lugulu. Saint Philip's akawana. We can chukua him total. Before January, 
Okay. And you're just being poached and you're yeah. still in school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you can send Philips, because I'm a form one, for two. Then form three, Jeff Till, okay, you're in the Western. My uncle, and my uncle, and my uncle, and RTS. Uh, the principal, Mr. Mayo, okay, and RTS, and okay, my uncle, okay, and okay, my uncle, and my uncle. <laughs> I know, I know, because we don't have so much time, and I want us to get into uh, Kenya volleyball now as well. Eh? But you won your first title when you were in Form Three. Tell us how, about that title. Yeah, you Form Three, you coach team, mm. and then my coach of team, my brother to my head coach, one we talk. So when we go to high school, coach we talk about the national teams, the nationals, because we are not going to go into that. I na jeri bu kamala za me connection for senior national team. Then ni kujia training like a man. Then ni ka qualify to kwenye Abuja Nigeria. That's two zero zero five. Ni kwa form three. My center ni kwa wanja na judi serenge. So tu kwa chiza Abuja. I go first time kwa chiza na senior team. No wajua ni mto mto iyo na kwa shule. So tu kwa chiza tu kwa shinda. The final two was between Kenya and Nigeria. When you come to home, you have a chance to play. Yeah, and then the worst thing Nigeria did to find me at that time, you just find us now. How? Waka to waka funga ji, but to find him as easy as you go. Aya. Yeah. Then to come here to go, that too, to ongoze, that to chase, to shine. Waka to ongoze, to kashina. That's my first title. And since then, you've won how many titles? With the how many Africa titles? Yeah, five. Five Africa titles. Yeah. And then you're with the, I know you're with KCB now, Kenya <coughs> Prisons, you won how many Africa titles? Five. Five Africa titles. What else have you won? I know you've appeared in the World Cup, how many times? Uh, four times, one championship, three times. And uh, Grand Prix? That, Maratumegia Maratatu Grand Prix, and Kashinda. I want you to pause it there simply because the Kenya women's volleyball team, like a lot of teams in this country, don't get as much support as they have. But when you list those achievements, it for me it shows one the power of a woman, eh? Because even when the forces are against you, you rise above it. I want to come to you, Eve. Tell us a bit about your career. And uh, I think there's a story you told. You, she mentioned there how the Nigerians refused to allow them to train. You also get a lot of people treating you unfairly when you're on in competition. But tell us generally about your uh, career and then some of your achievements. Um, basically, I started training myself into fitness maybe around um, 10 years ago. And uh, I just wanted to trim down from my big size. And it, it was I didn't think competition really. But later in my life, um, I, I have enjoyed competition. And uh, some of the big championships, like for me, last year was a was a very big year because it, it beat so many years that I have competed because I won um, Arnold Classic Africa. Arnold Classic is a championship where athletes come from all over the world um, to attend. So um, I won that. I got um, a pro card, elite pro card. So elite pro card means you compete with the best of the best in the world. Um, it was also the year that I got, I became the African champion in wellness, and I also came third in the World Cup. So those are very big titles, apart from the small titles that I prob I hold uh, here and there. But those are major for me in in the recent uh, past. Um, challenges are normally there. Sometimes even standing on stage is victory in itself, apart from the <laughs> the medals and trophies. Yes, exactly. Because there's a process to quali qualify for a world championship. There's a process to qualify for 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 you to go to some of those competitions. Yeah. And, and primarily, you do this alone. How does the federation support you, if at all? Um, maybe they get they get me the invitation letters. Like really, they, there's no funding. They give you letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 to get funding and uh, one thing I told myself if I wait for so long I mean let me just save up whatever little I can do with myself I'll do but if I was able to get funding probably I'll be way better I'll do more championships and present more to this country than what I do because I'm just doing what I'm able to do on, on average how, do, how much does one competition cost you 
mm, around in, in terms also in terms right. of how long you have to train for it yeah and then when you go for it oh my goodness you know um uh, as a bodybuilder there is the nutrition part which is very important mm -hmm. in building up and there is now the gym cost and uh, time invested and all that when you put all that honestly it's it's a um, it's a lot of money even the food itself and the travel cost and everything is over a million it's over a million to prepare for one competition. for one championship and you're alone and you're alone <laughs> wah, 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 wah. but you know you know what one thing i say carol in these situations if somebody was able to say let's say kq say oh we, we're gonna give you a flight to and fro and then another another let's say farmer's choice tell you oh we're gonna we're gonna be supplying you with chicken you know yeah something like that it really helps because it patches out and, and eventually you end up with a smaller but cost. have they been doing that no <laughs> so that's wishful <laughs> you know your stories as much as you guys are in totally different uh, competitions and sports yeah your stories are so similar because Mercy, you guys have the same challenges, even from training. I remember a time Lex was switched off at Kasarani. I've heard uh, about allowances not coming, and yet you're supposed to go to and fro to training. And then what Eve mentioned, diet. Do you guys get any guidance in terms of diet when you're training for competition? Uh, like volleyball, mm. it's not for anything. You eat anything? anything yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. But is that the same with all teams or other teams, professional teams like the big countries of the world, the Polands and the South American nations? Do they have diets? Because I know for a sports person, diet is so important. Yeah, mostly. Nutritionists, you yeah, have nutritionists. Nutritionist. Mm. So you just eat what you find. Yeah. But let's get into some of the challenges. Uh, Eva touched on it a bit, as in <laughs> one competition costs a million shillings. I'll ask you just now how you make that million shillings. I don't know. <laughs> um, but we have had a long relationship, Mercy. We've gone through trying to raise money for the national women's volleyball team because you guys seem to take yourselves to Africa, win in Africa, qualify for World Cup, and then there's no preparation and you need money to prepare. So where are we in terms of volleyball and preparing the national team? What support do you get as the national team? For the last like five to six years, mm. we've been a problem in your gym. And then allowance here at team. And then the traveling it was a problem because we did two KBF vacation job. But when we were in everything. So we had to sometimes come a uniform. We had to come a sport. We had to come a new uniform. So we had to time to come a uniform. If you are sure, we had to come a new uniform. But for the last like uh, one year, we had to come a new year. You, you, you've also been, you've, on a personal level, Mercy, you've been very fortunate because you've played abroad. Tell us about playing abroad. What's the difference between playing for a foreign club and a local club in terms of uh, professionalism, but maybe even money? Yeah, playing outside for better than... And tell us where you've played. Yeah, first the years in Finland, which mm -hmm. is a Finland two seasons. Yeah, outside Kenya or outside Africa, what wanna support sports sana? Wanna put a kama companies kama ten or twenty wanna support team moja. Wanna put a kama uniform ya ko ukona kama just a study wanna put a Coca Cola kapa ni ni any companies or different brands. Different brands alafu ukona main ya ko sasa. Wanna ko main. Ile na kulipia hao, tats, lakila kitu. 
wateze wengine kila mtako na kuna yako ile ni so mostly wana support team zao sana alafu facilities wana pewa kama national team wana pewa na government free sio mm-hmm. dino wanaomba hiyo ni kitu ya must na kuanga but you know that's what i find it strange in kenya we tend to we rely a lot on the government and the government should provide certain things like infrastructure training facilities and like that but i don't understand up to this to this day why corporates are not lining up to support the national women's volleyball team i think the problem mm. is mm. kuna company that can support but to say to support any teams here but apart, apart from volleyball kuna teams zingine so ile company to say there's a study on that support kama volleyball ama rugby ama team nyingine federation on attack you person in kick off collab instead of mm. the players mm. so your person that can support na ni players CRT and operation kwa sababu vitu vya huko hao wale wenyewe wanafanya nini wanatumia mbele players wakiulizia wanasema hakuna pesa hakuna pesa so the basic thing let me nitaka niambi to federations what yani zile team zote any company wanataka kuja ku support team wala wakuje but wakisema wanataka wapite through players wache iko tu hivyo kwa sababu tunasaidia players tuseme tungekuwa na nini companies wana support player size historia nini ya covid 19 atungekuwa na problem players wanasema mm-hmm. hatuna pesa kuna place tunaishi nataka na tuende ushago utangekuwa na pesa zake so next ukipata mtu anataka support team ukubali na support players yet support federation a support players na federation mwalao nini au companies wasaidia players sana kwa sababu sasa hizi watu wanahangaika kabisa but then it's 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 the credible officials we lack in the fed in these federations because ultimately the person who sweats the most is the athlete it's the player but we're sitting in our fancy offices we're the ones who want to receive the checks take 50% commission and it doesn't trickle out what are your challenges uh, even trying to get sponsorship um the same the same as what she's saying because what happens is you can find there are companies that are willing to to put in this or that but they're scared because the federation is giving probably a mandate that this should pass through the here like this but what i can tell those companies for example if you do a check you know but like sport kind of quote unquote because i go there i present what i have it's not like we have to present all of us to be able to win like them they have a team yeah. so if so, let's say a company wants to to get me a check uh, to go to let's say for example buy for me a flight ticket buy for me that ticket give me the take our first break eh? when yeah. we come back I want to talk a bit about marketing marketing right. yourselves and marketing yeah. your sport and your team and formation through sculpting of which before i forget we are doing a transformation challenge that the winner is going to walk our, our, um, away with money so keep keep it uh, C- uh, can i join <laughs> yes, yes you can you can so um, basically i realize 70% of my business runs on social media and that is where i get my new clientele so i learned also traffic of social media and try to i i, I learned not to relate the likes to the business the likes is good but there is the business aspect what it needs brings to transform <laughs> yeah to transform into business so those are things that i've learned and i'm still learning how to do it better and how to do it in a way that my audience um gets to understand what i'm trying to communicate i also learned that pure people are poor readers and if you write a long post they they, they won't care for it so, so they like pictures they like pictures yeah. and so let the picture be loud enough to communicate what i'm trying to communicate um and uh, for you because you have to market twofold yeah. you market your health business yes which i gather and i'm supposed to ask you the question how do you get that million shillings to train for uh, a competition yeah and then you market yourself as the athlete yeah so there's there are two different aspects yeah but for you it almost narrows down to one um there are two aspects but a car- i do i i look at i just like um having a hobby whatever i do i do it for fun i love doing it i've seen people transform inside out I, i love transforming my body so for me there is a place where it gels together in as much as there's this parallel part where i'm i'm the athlete and i'm trying to focus on my goals as, a, as an athlete but somewhere along the road when i transform myself i see those other people in me so to help me in my business so it gels does is your business where you get your money now to fund your sport 
Or do you fundraise a different way when you're going for competition? When I'm going for competition, I'll say um, there's a big support from my husband um, who tries to support me in the best way he can for me to be able to achieve my dreams. And and uh, so he he contributes a big chunk of it. Um, I and do, he's also a trainer? My husband mm -hmm. is not a trainer. Actually, before we were both bankers anyway. <gasps> really? <laughs> Ten years of my life I was a banker. And then I quit to do this because I love it. So, <laughs> so he's, he's a banker somewhere, yeah. But then it just means it's still individual effort. Yeah. Funding. Yeah. And yet yeah. when you go out there, you're representing Kenya. Yes. Shame on us. <laughs> yes. And then when Shame you, on you us. Win, and then when you win, yes, you won. You won. <laughs> Kenya won. Yet Kenya has not <laughs> removed a single shilling. For that competition. All right, we're ready to take a break. When we come back, Mercy, I'll ask you the same question about uh, marketing and branding of yourself and uh, then your dreams and aspirations and what the rest of Kenya can do. Yeah, we own you when you're a success, but we don't want to <laughs> in your growth. So we'll see you after a short break and we'll do some exercises. Welcome back to Radu Live. I'm with uh, Evelyn Owala, bodybuilding champion, has won things for Kenya, has achieved so much for Kenya. And then, of course, the captain of our women's volleyball team, Mercy Maim, the, Malki, the Malkia striker. Mercy has been telling us, of course, how she won her first Africa championship when she was in Form 3. And then there's a list of achievements like this. I've had to put them on social media because the show is only one hour long. Um, but mostly before the break, we were talking about marketing and branding. And uh, Evelyn has told us how she markets and brands herself. How, do, how have you and the National Women's Volleyball team invested or made strides in terms of marketing and branding? Uh, I think about a volleyball. Mm. Uh, Kwanza ni anzena mimi. 
Uh, I think kwangu ni zile vitu nafanya online. Most of the time nafanya mazoezi yangu uh, place iko kando kidogo na wengine. Uh, then na kujua kutanisha na team. Uh, then about volleyball a uh, ile vile tuna achieve vile tunashinda ndio mm -hmm. tunachi market mm -hmm. volleyball wezi ji market kama umeka unajua volleyball ukish, ukicheza sana unachi market na zile nini ile win unapata ndio unapata volleyball tuko that's, that's yeah. your cv that's the story yeah. you tell i actually and i wish you can take this back to my friend kioni eh? i think the volleyball federation needs to do a lot more in marketing the national team because we only tend to hear about the national team when you've qualified like now you qualified for olympics which have been moved to next year when you qualify you qualified yeah yeah yes you did you qualified for the world championship which you went in 2018 but i think on a personal basis you know and 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 eve you can probably also give tips here these are beautiful women athletic successful hardworking, inspirational if i was any brand in kenya I would want to be associated with the women's volleyball team. And I'd be shouting from them. I'd have them on billboards. I would, I would, of late your, your Instagram account has become very active. And I like what you're doing on Instagram now. I wish you even started it three, four, five years ago, you know, because the trophies they win. At, at some point, I even had to tell you, make your account not private. It was actually a private account. And I said, you're actually public property. You're the captain of the women's volleyball team. So that is not uh, on you, Mercy, but it's something you can probably take back to the other girls. Tell them become active on social media. It's how you get your name out there, how Kenyans get to know what you're doing, who you are, what you look like. If you tell Kenyans who's the captain of women's volleyball team, unless you're in sport, they have to think. But when you win, as you say, eh, state house, you what, you know. <laughs> uh, what does it, when you meet the president, I've seen photos of you with the president, what does he tell you? What does he promise you and does he deliver? Yeah, but first of all, I like uh, private life. I live Sweetheart, private life. you yeah. are the captain of no, the women's I'm the volleyball of the team. national team, but no. I, <laughs> like, I like a private life. Uh -huh. That's me. Yes. No, no, most of the time I party kwa social media sana. Mimi napenda. Mimi ni silent. Yeah. And then ukipata tumeshinda, unapata watu wako na pata uni party au nioni. Mi, hiyo ni mimi tangu. Si eti nimeanza saa hizi. Which which, which yeah. is totally understandable <laughs> and uh, I, I mean I, I would would you have any advice for her on that front? No, like what, what former it, captain Black mm. Cities ungemwona hiyo ni yake. Hiyo ni life yake alizoea kuwa but me but, but, I, I but what, I, my, what i can i, I can advise her is mm. you see it's not it's not just about you it's about now in terms of the, the business team. aspect the and the team and the sport so sometimes you, you you can be an introvert because i understand where she ca she's coming from maybe she's an introvert and and just just being able to she's wondering how am i supposed to communicate to all these people who are <laughs> who don't even know <laughs> who don't even, I, I mean you are interacting with them without interacting with them it can be a challenge and it's not just a challenge to even somebody who is extroverted would wonder what is the right thing to say um to my audience but it's something that you learn pole pole you come out pole pole even if you're not talking because um there are people who are looking up to you to be you yeah, yeah. yes the the there's somebody down there who wants to be exactly you and there is no chance you will meet physically whatsoever right so that is the only platform and, and, and you can <laughs> inspire them i think yeah. that the, the 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 advice i would give is keep personal things personal if you are a private person like um i know you like sometimes posting photos with your son and things like that <laughs> choose what to keep away from social media because it's nobody's business you're so right by the way if if you're not a public if you're not a person who wants everything out there keep your family life personal and strictly let people see what you want when you're see. preparing for your professional life. Because I would love to know, what does Mercy Moim eat in the morning? What is her? <laughs> I know if I text you in the morning, you will not reply for some hours because you're in training, you know. I, I want to be, there are people, as she say, when they grow up, they want to be Mercy Moim. And there are many, you mentioned Kakamega. Kakamega is full of volleyball talent in that area. Mm. And I'm sure they're like, I want, how does Mercy, be, how did Mercy become Mercy? You know, it wasn't just height, it was Mercy. And I see, and I wish people would follow you now on your social media. The exercises you do in the morning, they're so inspirational. 
you. And uh, at some point, we're going to get into these rubber bands <laughs> and do some exercises. <laughs> Let me just ask you, Mercy, what are your dreams for women volleyball in Kenya and your colleagues in the national team? What are your dreams? And what support would you like uh, to see? Uh, I think for me, I want the federation. Uh, I want the federation and the government to support sports, not only volleyball. Uh, Kusababu sports, watu wengi, kama saizi tukona, kama tuko volleyball, ladies, tukona basketball, tukona so sports zingine. There's so many sports, yeah. hockey. Yeah. 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 Uh, me number two, federation, wa support team. Ana kama kuna kitu wanataka kwa government, waenda direct kwa ministry. Wasisema wameenda kwa ministry, tumewamba allowance, na kumbo mwamba to ticket. So ile time players wana ulisa allowance, wanaenda kwa watu, naenda kwa media, kwa social media kuambia watu, government na watu support. Ukifika kwa government wanasema, federation na mekucha tukumba ticket. Kama ni kusupport team, waenda full, and then for the volleyball team, taka ni seme government, asanti sana kwa kutu support for the last like one year, haa umekua uh, umetushika mkono sana kama volleyballers uh, tumeata performance umeona tumilishinda mm. uh, all african games through government support tumeenda qualifiers tumeenda qualify olympic ol, nini cameroon tukashinda kwa sababu ya kutu support unajua player ukiweka okay, kitu kwa mfuko hata ena hata cheza yake yote but kama hakuna kitu kwa mfuko what, what do you think is missing? Because uh, Africa, Malkia strikers have conquered Africa. I think right now it's only Cameroon that gives you a little bit of competition. But at the World Cup, we still really, really struggle when you go for the World Championships. Yeah. I think if we're fortunate, we'll win one game. Um, but what does the Kenya women's volleyball team need to, to go and win more games at the World Cup, to compete with the biggest nations in this uh, world at World Cup level? At uh, world uh, championship level. I'm so football nice. Yeah. World championship <laughs> level. I think for me, we need to have the junior teams from under under 10, under 15, under 18, under 20, and then we enter Ivo. Kwa sababu, sisi, tulichukuliwa shule after. Unajua mtu unapata mtu amegitoka high school, di unamleta kwa club. Unataka oh, tukua na yeah. a junior clubs. Every club kwa na ile junior. Kama football size Kenya, unapata kuna si under 10, under 15. Ani. Unajua, football ina grow. Mm. But volleyball ni ile tumutu tunangwaja after high school. So mi nataka tu kwa na ile foundation ya watu. Yeah, because when the Mercies and the Trezas and everybody yeah. graduate, who takes over? We don't, yeah. yet, we don't know who's going to take over. Yeah, because mimi after like five years, mi sita kwa kwa volleyball. So nataka mazi mungine, mazi mungine anatoka kwa shule, anacheza. Yeah, you do kitu to say it is bukwana academy ya kuna kitu trafanya. Kama Egypt is easy wa kisema under fifteen, wanaenda world cup ni Egypt wanaenda. Si you under eighteen, Egypt wanaenda. Under twenty one ni Egypt wanaenda. Kwa nini Egypt peke yake. Mm. Sis na wa Kenya of volleyballers, former volleyballers, na kana tu kwa na academy. Ile watatu ita to say idea, do tu kwa na generation ya volleyball ko siki anda ivi, ita kuja kuisha araka. All right, let me come to you, uh, Eve. Yes. Ideal situation. What yeah. would you like to see? And then, you know, there's only Eve in Kenya. Eh? Yeah. I don't know any <laughs> other female body, yeah, professional uh -huh. bodybuilder. I know there's a young girl I follow on, on, on Instagram who was training to do her first uh, competition. Yeah. I wish I remembered her name. Um, I don't know if she's one of your, 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 your people you train. Yeah. But there is no other person who's actively going for competition, but what would you like to see for women's bodybuilding in Kenya and bodybuilding in general? Um, well, there are, there are actually people who go out there for competitions every now and again, but the same problem of funding is the biggest problem for most of us. And um, what I would like to see is continuity. The same thing she's talking about. Like we start nurturing our talents from from the young ones, right? 
we see people who who are very active and ready to take it on but we don't see an environment presented for them to take it on another thing bodybuilding can do very very well for this country we have very good bodybuilders in this country but they do not have funding most of those people do not have enough funding to go for championships so they sculpt the body they make the body but they present them only when there's a local championship for them to present it which means we need to consider it as a sport and bodybuilding itself need to organize itself in, and present itself to the government in such a way that we're able to get decent funding for those who are involved, especially as their athletes become more and more professional. And then, you know, you, you make it look like a career, not like something that somebody is trying to do as a by the way, you know? Yeah. 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 All right. Somebody here is uh, saying, uh, actually, they're discussing you here on uh, <laughs> Facebook. Actually, Radul was Evelyn ever a teacher. Then someone says, I liquid teaching. I've heard she was a banker. Yeah. <laughs> Were my you a life, teacher at some point? My life is spicy, Caro. Uh, yes, I even taught in Jamuri High School and Rapogi Boys. I just taught boys' school. And then I became a banker. <laughs> <laughs> what? And, now you're prof and then someone says, <laughs> Rahim Eugene here says, a lot can change within 14 years. Good to see her doing what she loves. Yeah. yeah. Because that's when you can give 100% yeah. when you're yeah. doing what you love. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Mike Jeremy, I think this question is for you, Mercy. When they go to ask for these allowances and stuff, do they have representatives of the players? Do you have player representatives or you as the captain? No, no. You're the re you're it's not the federation. It's yeah. just between you and the federation? Yeah. yeah. Hey, there's a lot we need to do to professionalize the game. Eh? To undo. To, to, to undo. Yeah. By the way, you're so right. <laughs> to undo, not to do. Yeah. I, I want us to take our uh, last short break. When we come back, we're going to do some exercises. I want to know what... These things are four. I yeah, see them on Instagram. They're called resistant bands. And I hear I can look good if I use them. And uh, you're going to explain <laughs> to me what this is. And then we're going to do a bit of exercises. See you in a bit. Guys, we're into the last... I left this towards the end of the show deliberately because if I sweat, I need to go and lie down. But um, I was told, first of all, by Evelyn Oala here not to call this a rubber band, not to call it it's a thingy. Yeah, a thingy. It's a rubber band. A rubber thingy. What is that, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> You're in sports. I told her to bring that rubber thingy. <laughs> so we're going to do a few exercises and then I want a few health tips from you before we leave because right. even though you're a professional bodybuilder, She's a, 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 a professional volleyball player. At the end of the day, it's about keeping fit. Right. And this is for all of us, whether we are athletes or not. So tell us what you do with this thing. And I see you using it on your videos as well. What do you do with this thing? So, so these are um, resistant bands. They uh -huh. actually create resistance while training. If you don't have weight and you can get this, you can always buy these and they are portable and you can have them anywhere for you to use them for your workout, right? Okay. So, yes, yes, Is Carol, it supposed to be this we tight? Are, <laughs> we are sorry, but this is happening. Okay. So, and they're very portable for those who like traveling and you don't know where to, you're going to work out the next minute. So you can carry them with you. You can use them to work out your legs, your arms. There's so many things you can do with this thing. Okay. But today we are going to kill you by legs. Okay, show, show us. Uh, hey, I was told never skip leg day. Yes. So, right where you're seated, uh -huh. so that you don't blame me for standing. Torso upright, 
and hold like that <laughs> and just abduct like that. Okay, no. I'm going as far as I can. <laughs> 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 How far am I supposed to go? Show her. <sighs> you see, and this, but they, they have different intensity. This is heavier, and then this, and then this. So why didn't you give me the easy one? Because <laughs> you are choosing color and I let you. First of all, <laughs> what's the difference in, in terms of training, like you training and mercy training? Because she's not training to be a bodybuilder, but right. she's training to be a fit athlete who has yeah. to be agile and everything. When I'm training as, a, as an athlete in terms of bodybuilding, mm. I check on every detail of muscle that I'm supposed to present. You know how she does not present muscle. Mm -hmm. She just presents general body strength. She needs her, she needs muscles for yes, strength. Yes, and she needs endurance because she's, you know, jumping here and there and, and agility. But for me, what I need is I need <laughs> to show my muscle, my muscle definition. And even when you see, you know, when girls say, I don't like, I don't like squ uh, squimbers, I'm like, can I borrow? Because I need them for competition, you know. <laughs> 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 yes, so that's basically what I do. Um, so, that's the difference. So, so we so do. Just abduct. Carry your chest out, yes, like that, and just abduct and feel nice <laughs> about it. Yeah. Uh, so you can do this on a wall seat, to, if you want to increase the intensity, you can do it on a wall seat. What do you mean on a wall seat? I mean, you sit leaning against the wall. Yes. <laughs> Does it make it easier or harder? <laughs> <laughs> well, more challenging because now you have to balance from the wall seat to this, and you just gently control it back. Gently control it back. I'm sure you're feeling somewhere along. I'm feeling pain yeah. everywhere on my legs. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> Mercy, what do you do? Because I see you using this as well. Give us one of your exercises. I hope they're not as hard as hers using this band. Or you do the one for... Uh? We stand, eh? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, one leg. Yes, one like that. One leg. Uh, I'm not sure if you're moving one leg or two. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I'm moving. <laughs> Period. Let me change, change the other leg. Tomorrow I'm going to have one muscle on one side. Yeah. Eh, come on, this thing is painful. You guys make it look so easy. On when I see you guys working out on Instagram, I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And then for I see it coming down as well. Yeah, you can oh, put it down here. <laughs> <sighs> when you have it down there, you can use it to, you know, do that. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to build your yeah. your bum area. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. So you just maintain <laughs> tension. No, don't step down, girl. Just hold it. Ah, yeah. Maintain the tension and feel good about it. Keep smiling. <laughs> 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 very small difference between smiling and frowning. You know, I'm trying to do both sides so that I don't have one muscle here tomorrow morning. <laughs> I have to be a bit proportionate. Huh? Yeah. Oh. And then, uh, what else did I... I think you I could even kneel down and, and, mm. and do something with it from a kneel down uh, point. Let me just demonstrate. Because I don't think we have enough space. All of us to kneel down. Can you see? So you can be here. Mm -hmm. Just abduct like that. <sighs> like okay. Yours is too heavy, yeah? Yours is too heavy, yeah? Can I try? Can I try? Can I try? Oh. I don't know if you're dead, huh? like I'm not there. <laughs> if I'm. D if I oh. Yes. Ow! <laughs> Ow! 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 This is painful! <laughs> I think I really sound like a sissy right now. <laughs> I, I, I would rather continue to watch you on Instagram and do my simple exercises. <laughs> <laughs> but just tell us a bit, since you're here, if yeah, right. w somebody trying to lose weight, yeah. and I keep telling people, I have a friend who told me he runs eight kilometers daily, and he's been doing that for two months, and he hasn't lost anything. And I realized oh. it's because he gets home and eats a mountain of ugali. 
you know most of us <laughs> when we work out we feel like we should compensate what we for what we have done we should tell our body we are sorry but <laughs> exercising <laughs> is celebration of what your body can do it is not a, a, a punishment to celebrate <laughs> it getting done and to reward it with ugali uh, to reward it with the mountain of ugali so it's a delicate balance between nutrition and and working out and just running alone uh, is good because um, it's good cardio for your heart and all but i think resistance training is something that is underrated in terms of just losing weight and also just trying to remain full you don't also want to lose and look sick yeah. you know you want to look healthy yeah what's what's your regime i know uh, mercy you said you eat anything but what what do you eat in the morning yeah. what's what's your diet for a day yeah. uh -huh. Oh, celery juice! Oh, sorry, we can't uh, <laughs> distancing. <laughs> By the way, we always compare celery juice on Instagram. Uh huh. Uh, then after, mm -hmm. uh, maybe strong tea. Uh huh. Matcha, matcha And then lunch time, I eat maybe a piece of chicken, and then rice kidogo, and then greens, a lot of greens. And then Satisa, and the Kamadi. Uh, spinach, mango, lafu cucumber, and then mango kidogo, Satisa. And then Gioni, I eat maybe rice kidogo, moka ugali, a lot of greens. It's, it's, it's all in the portions, eh? Yeah. Small portions. Small portions. Yeah. Yeah. Human beings of us, I don't know why. We, we love food. We're cultured. We're we cultured that we have food. to eat and we have to eat carbs every day and we have to eat carbs Kula in every ushibe, meal. Kula meal. Ushibe. And the importance of water. <laughs> Underrated. Uh? Because water is what... Actually, um, there's a big percentage of your body that is water. So you need to keep on hydrating to clean out and just, you know, uh, keep your system running. There's a friend of mine, the same guy who didn't lose anything in two months, he said he was told not to take water because it dilutes nutrients. What? And I said, what? <laughs> That's what? the most absurd thing I'd ever heard. <laughs> that, that is new. That, that, that's I, I, I a really new have one. to go and start a study on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, just f while we wrap up, because I know we have to go, I know you have your own live in yes. about an hour on yeah. your Instagram account, yes. and I'll be watching. Please um, do. Any parting shot uh, that you want to tell, um, what do you want to tell the next generation of Mercy Moims? You know, what do they need to do, and what level of discipline do they need, and things like that? ile talent uko nayo kwa na passion zipo kwa na passion lakini kitu utafanya and then the second thing ni discipline discipline yourself kwa wale wadogo wako wakubwa wako and then coaches kama una discipline hakuna place unaenda discipline ni kitu ya maana sana kwa sports yote bila discipline utacheza for a short period of time then mtu kama mimi nimecheza national team since nikiwa form 3 Sijai toleo national team. Na retire. Bato niko national team. Because of discipline. <laughs> and I, I like that you started with the word passion. Because playing for Kenya, you need a, another level of desire to be in this sport. To continue with this sport. Because D divine. as we keep saying, <laughs> Kenya, we give you love when you win. When you lose. Hey, you're on your own, you see, yeah. which is really, it's a wrong way to go about it, but it's a fact of the matter. So you need extra uh, desire and commitment and passion if you're going to represent Kenya. Um, a parting shot for you, the next generation of bodybuilders, or, or someone who just wants to keep fit. Um, there is no better way time to start than now. That's one. Two, consistency, discipline, and... Um, and passion will guide you because just enjoy the process don't think about the results so much um, because sometimes you're thinking about the result in context of someone else just enjoy the process the results will come and don't weigh yourself every day <laughs> no, no, no 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 actually you lose weight from weighing yourself <laughs> i weigh myself every day <laughs> no 
that is that is how to die in 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you can be disappointed if you feel you worked out and nothing has happened exactly oh well girls thank you so much ladies thank sorry thank, thank you. you so much for uh, honoring this invitation eh? thank um you. i mean I, th there's there's i would like to see women's volleyball in this country go to the next level. I'm not sure whether it will happen in your time or in the next time, but I think you've done a fantastic job, Mercy, as captain of captaining this team. I'm so proud of the Malkia Strikers. You have no idea. I'm so proud of the Malkia Strikers. And I, I wish there's a corporate somewhere saying, I want to be associated with that level of success, you know? So I wish you all the best in that. And uh, if um, I've been working out, I've lost seven kgs in and two months. That, I feel like I should throw a but I'm doing it slowly. I'm not doing <laughs> it at uh, your pace. But I, I wish you I'm the so best proud. as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Bye. I wish you the best in your, your, your live shows as well, which you Thank do you. on your Instagram account. Thank you. Um, which I'll tag and make sure people are also watching. Um, and to the next generation of bodybuilders, all the best. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish we took sports seriously in this country. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we took sports you. seriously in this country. But uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I forgot to dish out airtime. I'll dish out airtime on uh, my page sometime today. Yes, I have a lot of airtime to give out uh, to the viewers. But thanks for watching Radul Live. And we'll see you again next Saturday. Next Saturday, we're back at 2 p.m. This Saturday, we had to consider that you also have your live show. So thanks for watching. And uh, see you next week. Thank you. <laughs>